Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Will and today I'm going to tell you eight very interesting facts about Spain. So Spain is one of these really cool countries that almost everybody likes and it's actually the most popular tourist destination for British tourists and in 2018 Spain received over 82 million international tourists, so it's one of these worldwide countries that lots of people visit for holidays. And that's because they have a really big variety of things to visit, so they have really interesting cities like Seville, Madrid and Barcelona, but also they have amazing beaches and coastlines, uh, different islands like the Canary Islands and the Balearics but also mountains and beautiful landscapes. So it's not hard to see why Spain is such a popular country. So the first interesting fact about Spain is that it is the biggest producer of olive oil in the world. So the climate and the landscape in Spain is perfect for growing olive groves. And this is also one of the key ingredients that goes into Spanish cuisine. So. We all know Spain has really nice food like paella, fabada and Spanish omelettes. And the key thing that they need to use to make this is olive oil. And this is the base for a lot of their most popular dishes. It's also used as a condiment. So when you go to a Spanish restaurant, they will put olive oil all over the top when they serve the food. It's a very healthy ingredient as well. It's one of the key parts of the Mediterranean diet which is seen as one of the most healthy diets that there is in the world and for that reason Spain has one of the longest life expectancies in the world so this is very closely connected to the Mediterranean diet and they have an expression and it's barriga llena corazón contento so if you're full then you will be happy so the second interesting point about Spain is that it produced the first ever modern novel, Don Quixote, written by Miguel de Cervantes. Uh, it came out in two parts and the institute that promotes the Spanish language and culture across the world has been named after him and this is called the Cervantes Institute. It's also considered by many critics to be the greatest novel of all time, or one of the greatest novels of all time. And it tells the story of the eponymous character who reads lots of books at home and then decides to go on a massive journey across the centre of Spain on his horse called Rocinante and with his companion Sancho Panza. And they go on this huge journey and Don Quixote goes a little bit mad. He's quite crazy and he's constantly chasing windmills because he thinks they're giants or monsters or something like that. So Quixote has become a really famous symbol for Spanish culture in the world. And you can see murals and statues of Don Quixote all over Spain. So this is one of the most important books of all time and it has never been out of print and critics rate it very highly. And so Don Quixote has become very important in the folkloric history of Spain. So the third interesting fact about Spain is that bullfighting is their oldest tradition and has been the national sport for over a thousand years. So bullfighting is considered by some people to be an art form and the matadors and the picadors wear very elegant traditional costumes and some people see it as a really important part of the culture of Spain and the, the history of Spain. But in more recent years it has become a very controversial practice because animal rights groups say that it is cruel and it is not fair to treat animals in this way. And actually two regions of Spain have banned the sport and that's Catalonia and the Canary Islands. In the city of Barcelona, the old bullring has now been turned into a shopping centre. So this shows you how Spanish culture is changing and progressing over time. Bullfighting is most popular in the centre and the south of Spain, so areas like Andalusia and Murcia. But the biggest and most important bullring, or Plaza de Toros, is called Las Ventas in Madrid. And this also has a museum where you can go and visit 
and see artwork about bullfighting and learn all about the history of the practice. So, like I said, it is a controversial sport now, but a lot of people still like it. And the bull has even become a symbol of Spain. So you see the bull on flags of Spain and big signs in the countryside. But nevertheless, bullfighting still continues in Spain and is very popular with many Spanish people. So the fourth interesting fact about Spain is that its language, Castilian, is the second most spoken language as a native language in the world. So, as a global language, over 500 million people speak Spanish, and many more speak it as a second language, uh, or learn it at school or at university. And it's mainly spoken in Latin America, so countries like Mexico, Peru, Argentina and Uruguay. But it's also spoken in Africa, in a country called Equatorial Guinea. So it is very much a world language and is spoken widely throughout the world. And increasingly it's also spoken in the United States, in the southern states especially. But interestingly enough, the country of Spain itself is a very rich and diverse place for languages and they have a big variety of local languages. And these, the main ones are Catalan, Galician, Basque, and there's another one called Aranese. And all four of these are co-official languages with Spanish. If you go to a supermarket anywhere in Spain, they will likely to have food and labels written in at least two or three languages, which represent the local languages of Spain which is great because it shows that Spain is serious about supporting its minority languages. And because it's such an old country, every region will have its own dialect or its own language. So the fifth interesting point about Spain is that the Sagrada Familia Cathedral in Barcelona is the longest running construction project in the world. So it was started in 1882 and is still unfinished. So this is a really significant building in Spain. It's the most visited monument in the whole of Spain by tourists, and it was designed by the architect Antoni Gaudí. And Gaudí is synonymous with the city of Barcelona, and he also designed other iconic places like the Parque Güell. And the reason it's taken such a long time to finish the cathedral is due to funding issues and it's funded by private donors so it has taken a very long time. The cathedral itself features very interesting forms almost in a gothic style but in a modern natural way that mimics nature, trees, leaves, branches and so the interior has a very natural feel to it. And it also has very famous ornate stained glass windows, which are very beautiful. So the sixth interesting fact about Spain is that it lived through a dictatorship from 1939 to 1975. So this was the result of the Spanish Civil War, which took place, and it was between Republican forces uh, from the Second Republic and the nationalists or fascist forces led by Francisco Franco. This was an extremely brutal civil war in which over half a million people died. As a result of the war, Franco became the dictator. So this was a very hard and difficult period because like all dictatorships, there was no freedom of press and obviously no elections. So now in Spain, many places, uh, street names and squares are being renamed to change their name from Franco. So when Francisco Franco died in 1975, Spain transitioned to a democracy and the King Juan Carlos I became head of state and it is now a constitutional monarchy and democracy has remained in Spain ever since. So the seventh interesting fact about Spain 
is that it has two autonomous cities on the continent of Africa called Ceuta and Melilla. So these two autonomous cities are bona fide parts of Spain that use the Euro and obviously speak Spanish. Ceuta was originally a Portuguese colony and it was taken by the Portuguese in 1415. So it was the first ever Portuguese colony. And when the Iberian Union happened, Spain was ruler of both Spain and Portugal and therefore incorporated Portuguese colonies into its own reign. And even at the end of the Spanish control of the Iberian Union, Ceuta remained uh, a Spanish possession. Melilla has been part of Spain from 1497. So both of these cities are very integral and old parts of Spain. These cities were part of a larger group of Spanish and Portuguese cities scattered across the North African coast. And there was even a Spanish colony in what is now Morocco called the Spanish Protectorate from 1912 to 1956. But today, Ceuta and Melilla are the only parts that remain and they have remained Spanish. So the eighth interesting fact about Spain is that flamenco is the most traditional type of music. And this is a really important part of Spanish culture, a bit like bullfighting. It's very traditional, it's very old, and it's also most popular in the south of Spain, so areas like Andalusia. It is based in the gypsy tradition and the gypsy culture, and it's normally music that is played by men and sung, but also with guitars. And women dance to this music with very flamboyant dresses and fans, which are also a symbol of Spain. The way that they call traditional flamenco in Spain is flamenco hondo, which means true flamenco. And it is a really important manifestation of Spanish culture. Flamenco music is often accompanied by very energetic dancing between couples and they often use a type of tap dancing so they wear sort of tap shoes and it's very loud and it's very energetic and lively and there are lots of flamenco clubs that you can go and visit in the big cities in Spain so places like Madrid and Seville they have these really fantastic awesome flamenco clubs where they play live flamenco music and you can watch flamenco dancing and it's a really interesting experience for tourists to go and see this live. So that was eight interesting facts about Spain and I hope you enjoyed it. Spain is a really interesting country with a really fascinating culture. If you would like to watch a video all about Madrid I will put a link so that you can watch it now. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe Thanks very much for watching again. I really appreciate your time. All the best and adios.